you take a, a huge amount of matter and energy packed into a very small volume, you have what we call a gravitational collapse and you produce a black hole, namely a, a place of space-time uh, in which the gravitational field is so strong that nothing can escape, even light. So this is a black hole. And this is probably the, one of the most fascinating objects in uh, astrophysics, full of mysteries and full of questions. Well, black holes are rather exotic objects because uh, in order to form a black hole, uh, you need extreme conditions. For instance, uh, well, ordinary black holes can form by uh, gravitational collapse of massive stars, but we know that only uh, maybe uh, on the average one star over 10,000 can form a black hole. So black holes are not in our immediate neighborhood and they have not influenced directly on Earth. But it's really a, a point of knowledge uh, which is really fundamental today to understand the universe at a large scale. I cannot speak about uh, detection of black hole without speaking, or without talking about this uh, very great discovery, which was expected for one century, because there was a theoretical prediction by Einstein that gravitational waves should be emitted, uh, for instance, when two black holes collide uh, to form a single one. And uh, during the fusion, the coalescence of these two black holes, we have a huge burst of uh, energy in the form of gravitational radiation, namely uh, uh, variation of uh, curvature of space-time, which propagates uh, in the universe. And, uh, uh, well, it was a challenge to detect uh, uh, such waves because, because they are very, very, very low amplitude. But the challenge was technically uh, achieved uh, uh, three years ago now. Yeah, yeah, it was in, uh, uh, yeah, in 2015. And we have detected uh, several uh, coalescences of binary black holes and uh, this is a, a new window uh, for astronomy, which is gravitational astronomy. See, after working a long time on black holes and continuing to, to work, well, I explore some mathematical possibility about the shape of the universe. The whole question, is it infinite? Is it finite? Without an edge, of course. And what could be its uh, shape? So I used uh, one of my mathematical specialty, which is topology, to uh, uh, incorporate into the uh, so-called famous Big Bang model, describing the structure of, uh, uh, of the universe at large scale, uh, describing possible shape uh, of space, strange shapes of space, which could produce uh, some kind of global optical illusion uh, with uh, ghost images of some faraway galaxies. Uh, and uh, well, it was a fascinating uh, uh, research uh, uh, proposing uh, some model of the universe. And I remember in 2003 uh, we proposed a, a specific model, a rather complicated model, uh, the Poincaré dodecahedral space topology, uh, which made the cover of the famous uh, Nature uh, magazine. Uh, and now, well, so many workers are trying to, uh, to, uh, to prove or disprove uh, this, uh, this proposal.